My practice is mostly object-based. I'm interested in the transformative potential of living things, so in the natural landscape and in the human landscape as well, the way that we as humans manipulate and modify living things through science and the way that that, I guess, changes our perspective of living things. I was interested in doing air because I wanted to, I guess, see how I would function in an educational setting. While I was there, I was sort of working on a number of biological forms that kind of navigated that boundary between natural and artificial. So I was doing things like casting rocks and then recreating those in resin and a number of bones as well. I was modelling and casting those. So it sort of became like a microcosm of natural and artificial biological forms and objects. I wasn't sure how the students would react to the work that I do, but the students were really enthusiastic and really engaged. And I could see from the work that they made that my presence did have an impact on them. The students had their own project to do in response to my presence in the school. They had to look at my work and do a bit of research into artists who use biology in their work and then respond to that with their own object-based work. Each student made a small object in plasticine and it was meant to be a small specimen, like a biological specimen, whether it was natural or something manipulated. And then we cast those in silicon and they ended up with the same object in resin, and then they created that into a finished work. I feel like being in that environment really injected that kind of sense of energy and playfulness and curiosity that the students have into my own work, which I was really surprised by. <laughs>